These seven paintings are the most complete set of views of the island of Malta and its defences by Alberto Pulicino. They were purchased in 1754 by Robert Clements, later first Earl of Leitrim, when on the Grand Tour, and remained with his descendants until 2011. Some of the series were engraved by the 18th century Florentine artist Giacomo Moro. In the 12th and 13th centuries, the Knights of the Order of St. John built and maintained great hospitals serving Christians, Muslims and Jews in what is now Israel, while also sheltering pilgrims from the many threats that they faced on the difficult journey to the Holy Land. The Order's galleys protected merchant ships from attack by pirates, freeing captured slaves while continuing their hospitaller tradition on the island of Rhodes until 1523 and from 1530 on Malta and Gozo. Here, the galley of the Ottoman Pasha of Rhodes, which had been seized by the Christian galley slaves with the help of the knights, sails into Malta harbour. The knights who served in the order's galleys and hospitals were drawn from the nobility of Catholic Europe. The fortifications they built to defend against the Ottoman navies were complemented by the conventional Church of St. John with its masterpieces by Caravaggio, the great hospital and Grand Master's Palace and splendid churches. The islands were only lost to Napoleon in 1798 because the knights were forbidden from fighting their fellow Christians. Emmanuel Durand, who died in 1797, was the last Frenchman to serve as Grand Master. His galley is moored in Naples Harbour in a painting by an as yet unidentified artist. Rouen's coat of arms is held aloft by a protective angel, while the Order's red banner, with its white cross, flies from the masts and sides. This same flag flies above the ramparts and from the Order's galleys in the paintings by Pulicino, and today on the Order's hospitals, clinics and ambulances across the world. <laughs> 